Hi, I'm Megan Kelly, the security reporter for VentureBeat, and I'm here with Justin Semaney. He is the chief trust officer at Box. And so we all know Box is a cloud file storage, file sharing entity, works with a lot of enterprises. Um, and we've heard recently about the Snowden effect, right? This NSA former contractor has released all this information about collection of information from lots of tech companies and, and how the cloud industry might be affected by that. Do you think the Snowden effect actually exists? I, I think there's a lot of conversation in regards to uh, the issue of uh, intelligence gathering, um, criminal warrants uh, on individuals, and, and how is information collected for uh, cases that are done. Will this have a significant effect on the industry? I, d I can't say that it will necessarily, but I do believe it's a little bit early, but my perspective on predicting the future, um, <laughs> there'll be a lot of very good, very healthy conversation, but it's not going to be a deterrent versus a really healthy discussion in industry. It might just be something we get over a hump on. And... I believe so. Gotcha. Um, so at this point, have you guys seen any kind of slowdown? Uh, again, it's probably still too early, but for everything that uh, I've seen, no, I can't say that we have. Excellent. Um, and then you wouldn't expect a slowdown then? No, I, I would not. So in terms of last week, we saw this information about the NSA being able to crack encryption and yes. right, go directly to some of these cloud companies and mm -hmm. even put in back doors, right? Mm -hmm. like, do you, where do you see that um, playing out? Is that actually something we should be concerned about? Uh, yeah, I've been in the industry for, for quite some time and uh, had a lot of very strong conversations with my peers throughout the years. I would be shocked if anybody had put a back door in their software. I've never heard about it. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know if I necessarily believe it. All I can say is uh, I would be incredibly shocked if anybody did that. So I personally have no fear of it. Uh, yeah, so. It's a little outlandish it's, to it's, you. It's, it's, yeah, it's beyond outlandish to me. But, you know, there's stranger things have happened. But, you know, as far as I can tell, it's, it's a non-event kind of, kind of issue. I think earlier someone was discussing just the, the sheer size of developer groups and that, yeah. you know, someone along the line might be able to tell. Yeah, for a developer to put a backdoor into a, 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 a software stack uh, code um, and not have it be found or try to do it surreptitiously is it's not an easy task to say the least. Um, uh, I would I would be I would be quite amazed if anybody was able to do it, let alone having the wherewithal or desire to do it. So, so if the government ever came to box, would box ever put a backdoor in? <laughs> no, no, we, not we would enough. not. We would not do that. Yes. All right, you've heard it here. No. no. <laughs> well, thank you so much for chatting with me, and we hope you enjoyed it.